Before we get into the video guys, if you guys want to be in with a chance of winning this Resurrectionist emblem, leave a like and tell me in that comment section what you're most looking forward to from Destiny 2. Can we reach 4000 likes? That would be absolutely epic if we could. What's going on guys? Today I am back with another Destiny video and today we're going to take a look at another picture that has dropped from Bungie which contains a little bit of beautiful information regarding the new Crosses End Warlock Raid gear and what could be possible ornaments on it. Now yesterday I made a video basically talking about uh, the new raids, the new raid ornaments from the Vault of Glass and the Crotus End Raids, which I will cover a little bit in today's video as well, because I like to have them all together. Now the first image we did take a look at is this one on screen now, where we can see three Guardians, we can see what looks to be a Hunter on the right, a Titan in the middle, and a Hunter on the left. What was interesting about this image though was, the Titan in the middle seems to be holding the Suze Regime, which looks to have a new exotic ornament on it. The actual colour scheme and the patterns of this weapon are different to the actual current Suze Regime we have. Uh, another interesting thing as well is the Hunter on your left, what looks to be holding a new version of the Vision of Confluence. This hasn't been confirmed, it could be the Treads Upon Stars as they are identical in design. Uh, but another interesting thing about this as well is his cloak, which I believe is a new Vault of Glass cloak uh, for the Hunter, which looks fucking badass. It just screams Vault of Glass at me. Uh, but the uh, more interesting thing is his actual left leg, uh, as you can see. Is basically more fucking wearing a Vex leg. Now this has been confirmed by Bungie uh, and Deej in a interview we did with I think it was GameSpot where we talked about how this is the new Vault of Glass armor, the new Vault of Glass raid armor, and this is what it will look like with an ornament applied to it. So our guardians are going to end up looking like motherfucking Robocops, which is absolutely epic. I can't wait to see what they look like on the Titan and on the Warlock. That's going to be absolutely incredible. Hopefully though, it's more than just one piece. I mean. I don't mind if you apply the ornament to your legs, you get only one leg, but hopefully you'll get one arm as well, or half the face. That'd be absolutely epic. Okay, so the other image we looked at is this one on screen. Now, actually this one's a more high-res version of the one we looked at in yesterday's video. You can see a lot more detail in this one. Again, we see the hunter on your right looking absolutely epic with that Vex leg piece. I mean, it just looks incredible. You can see the cloak as well. Can't really see it as good as you could in that last picture but another thing you can see in this picture as well which i didn't notice on the, well in the picture yesterday is the warlock standing there behind that vex now as you can see you can't really make out anything spectacular apart from that bond which looks to be new it looks like a kind of plate you know the glowing plates that we have to stand on before you enter the vault of glass that's what that motherfucking thing looks like on his arm it looks absolutely badass now the final image we looked at in yesterday's video is this picture right here it's that sword bearing motherfucking titan with that new cruelty's end raid gear now it was speculated and i actually think this is basically legit i think it's actual factual that the actual raid armor the ornaments applied to this cross and raid armor will give off sort of floating rocks to the armor i mean if you look at that shoulder piece if we take a zoom in as you can see it looks to be broken up towards the top and it has things floating around it that to me seems epic now i don't know if that's going to be moving floating shit or is it just going to be like still but either way i cannot wait to see more of it now the actual new picture that dropped today is actually a new image of a warlock within the Crota's End raid. And as you can see on screen now, he's wearing that motherfucking raid gear. But look at the helmet. Now you guys remember the helmet. I think it was called the Death Singer's Gaze. One of the best all-round helmets in this damn game. I mean, I absolutely, I mean, I ain't even a warlock fan. Uh, warlocks do get some of the sexiest armors in the game, especially from raids. And this one is one of the best ones. Again, as you can see, if you look towards the shoulder, as we zoom in on it, it does sort of look like shit is floating off this armor. Now, is that an ornament applied to this armor? Is it standard? Who knows? I actually think that the armor will drop, which will look pretty standard until you apply, will it look similar to the original armors from the Vault Glass and the Quarter's End, until you apply them ornaments to it, at least the same kind of concept, as because that looks basically exactly like the Death Singer's Gaze from the old school Quarter's End Raid for the Warlock. We can also see as well, he's holding the Abyss Defiant Orso Rifle, which was absolutely, well it wasn't, it was 
decent. I mean, it was better without Focus Fire, in my opinion, because you could switch between Focus Fire and I couldn't remember what the other one was. I think it was just a standard perk. But this thing as well was an Elemental Primary offering Solar Burn. Hopefully, not been confirmed as factual by Bungie yet, but hopefully these primaries from the raids, the old school raids, do come back with their motherfucking Elemental Burns. I really hope they do. Now on his back I believe this is the shotgun which is called the sword breaker. Now I never really used this to be honest I mean like I heard a few people say it was half decent but I actually never used it I mean I don't even think I kept it I think I had it I deleted it it's one of the things I've still got my abyss defiant though uh, but because vault space isn't getting expanded confirmed by Bungie which is pretty gutting. Um, I think I'm going to have to delete a lot of these old school red weapons, especially if the new ones do offer them elemental burns. I mean, there's no point in keeping both sets. I mean, I just do not have the space. I mean, I found myself deleting shit now, which I really wanted to keep, but I've just had to delete it because it's just not enough space within this game. It's just so limited. And I think I do remember Bungie actually promising that they were working on some sort of new way to help us with vault space before the rise of iron dropped i don't know what happened to that but it's kind of gone now um they forgot about that shit they brushed it under the carpet but yes it is what it is there's nothing we can do about it they ain't gonna change their minds we're gonna have to delete shit or we're just gonna have to keep our shit in our postmaster and we'll never use it uh, but yeah it is what it is but guys well, let me know what you think about this new and improved Kurota's End and Vault Glass Red gear with what I think is ornaments applied to them, especially in the Kurota's End gear because it's been confirmed by Deej that the Vault Glass gear, when ornaments is applied to it, you will turn into a motherfucking World Cup, which is absolutely epic. But guys, let me know what you think about this down below in that comment section. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for stopping by as always, and I'll catch you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand, but you and I will carry on, we never get it right.